Good afternoon, respected sir. My senior engineer. Today I am going to begin on our topic, neck dissection. History about neck dissection. In 1880, Theodore Kozer uh, introduced Y-shaped incision, which is still in use, thus allowing for a wide uh, resection of uh, leaf node metastasis. In uh, the following years, surgeons such as Parker advised excision of the submandibular gland, and Sir Henry uh, Butlin advocate, uh, advocated elective dissection of the cervical lymph node in the treatment of tongue cancer. In 1906, 1906, George uh, Kreil described classical technique of uh, radical neck dissection. In uh, 1933 and 1941, Blair and Martin popularized radical neck dissection. In 1953, Petran Tuen uh, recommended sparing uh, spinal accessory nerve. In 1967, Boca and uh, Pignatro uh, described functional uh, neck dissection. In 1975, Boca established oncological safety of uh, functional neck dissection compared to the radical neck dissection. In 1989, 1991, and 1994, Medina, Robbins, and Bears respectively proposed classification of neck dissection. In 1991, official report of academic uh, academies committee for head and neck surgery and oncology standardized the neck dissection terminology. Definition of neck dissection. It is a systemic uh, removal of neck nodes with their uh, fibro fatty tissues from the various compartments of the neck. Uh, before 1991, there was uh, no standardized classification for uh, neck dissection, but in 1990, sorry, in 1991, in 1991, uh, Academy's Committee for Head and Neck Surgery and Oncology published uh, a standardized classification system for neck dissection. Uh, Academy's classification is based on four concepts. Radical neck dissection is standard uh, basis uh, procedure for cervical lymphadenectomy against which all other modifications are compared. Modifications of radical neck dissection, which includes preservation of any non-lymphatic structures, are referred to as modified radical neck dissection. Any neck dissection that preserves one or more group or level of lymph nodes is referred to as selective neck dissection. Extended neck dissection referred to removal of additional lymph node group or non-lymphatic structure relative to radical neck dissection. Uh, in 1991, academics, uh, academic gave first uh, classification of radical neck dissection, standardized uh, classification that is uh, which includes radical neck dissection, modified radical neck dissection, selective neck dissection which includes supra type, lateral type, posterior lateral type, anterior compartment type and extended radical neck dissection. This classification was again revised in 2001 into uh, radical neck dissection, modified radical neck dissection, selective neck dissection, and extended neck dissection. And the updated system include in uh, radical uh, neck dissection, removal of lymph node in uh, level 1 to 5 and 3 non lymphatic structures, including accessory knob, internal jugular vein, and uh, stenocleido mustard muscle. In modified radial neck dissection, lymph node level 1 to 5. But uh, it preserves one or more of the three non lymphatic structures that are routinely sacrificed in radical neck dissection. And uh, the three structures are uh, spinal accessory nerve, internal jugular vein, and uh, stenocleido mustard muscle. Selective neck dissection is the procedure where one or more of the lymph node groups are preserved in addition to the non lymphatic structures. The dissected levels or sub levels that are removed should be identified within the parenthesis and it should be. Uh, mention like uh, uh, selective neck dissection level 1 to 4. Extended radical neck dissection involves removal of one or more additional lymphatics and or non lymphatic structures relative to the radical neck dissection. For example, uh, removal of level 7, retropharyngeal lymph node, hypoglossal lobe, carotid artery, skin of uh, neck, etc. Another classification was uh, given uh, by Medina classification in 1989. Uh, which uh, divide neck dissection into uh, primarily into two types, comprehensive neck dissection and selective neck dissection. In uh, comprehensive neck dissection, there are radical uh, neck dissection and modified radical neck dissection. Modified radical neck dissection is further classified into type 1, 2, and 3. In type 1, spinal accessory knob is preserved. In type 2, spinal accessory and internal jugular vein is preserved. And in type 3, uh, spinal accessory, internal jugular vein, and strenocleido mustard muscles are preserved. Uh, another classification is given by Spiro in 1994. 
uh, in it, uh, radical net dissection uh, in which four or five levels are resected and it is further divided into conventional radical neck dissection, modified radical neck dissection, extended radical neck dissection, modified and extended radical neck dissection in selective. Both uh, like include Gorago, sir. Do take or even a Vanessa? Modified and extended duty have modified and extended Selective uh, uh, uh. net dissection in which three level uh, three lymph node levels are resected, supra umide neck dissection, uh, jugular dissection, and uh, any any other three uh, node levels are resected in limited no more than two lymph node levels are resected uh, and uh, it need paratracheal uh, paratracheal node dissection medicinal node dissection any other one or two node level resected the preoperative preparation for uh, neck dissection are uh, patients should be evaluated by the anesthes anesthesiologist before surgery and the operative field should be shaped patients should be counseled about the risks and possible complication Selective tracheostomy should be done in patient when primary tumor is dissected in continuity with the neck, especially where mandible is split for the assess. Patient undergoing bilateral neck dissection. Prophylactic antibiotics should be given for uh, 24 hour covering aerobic, anaerobic and gram-negative bacteria based on the local sensitivities. Position of the patient during surgery. Patient should be lie in uh, supine position in the operation table in intubated. The necks of the patient should be extended by keeping a uh, uh, sandbag in the shoulder uh, and uh, by resting the head in the heading and the uh, heading of the table should be elevated 30 degree, uh, 2 degrees the blood loss and it also helps in extension of the neck and the neck should be turned to the opposite side. A dis uh, disinfectant surgical solution is applied with ample of margin to prepare the operative fib before uh, wrapping the patient. And in, gen in general, four drafts are used, two, uh, two vertical uh, drafts and two horizontal drafts. Basically, when wrapping the surgical field, the following is uh, ischial landmarks should be visible. There are mastoid tip, ear lobule, body of the mandible, midline of the chin, supraesternal notch, clavicle and region of trapezius muscle insertion. Scrub nurse as well as two assistant uh, surgeons and one in front of the main surgeon and one in the head in of the patient is usually present. What is the point? What is the point? What is the point? Types of incision, there are various types of incision for uh, uh, neck dissection and all uh, the following are the main goals that should be achieved by the skin incision. They are assure adequate vascularization of skin flaps, adequate exposure of surgical field, consider localization of primary tumor, adequate protection of major vessels if stenoculitis mustoid is resected, consider preoperative factors such as previous radiotherapy, consider as well as facilitate reconstructive surgery if needed, include previous surgical field like scar incision for biopsies etc uh, produce acceptable cosmetic results uh, different types of incision in uh, neck are hockey stick incision boomerang bilateral boomerang mcfee incision 
एप्रोन और बाइलेटरल हकी स्टिक इंसिजन मोडिफाइड एप्रोन इंसिजन स्कोबेन्जर मोडिफाइड स्कोबेन्जर यूटिलिटी इंसिजन भाइजर एक्सटेन्डेड थाइरोइड इंसिजन एच इंसिजन एंड ओरिजेन्टल टी इंसिजन जेनेरिक स्टेप्स फर अल नेक डिस हजर सर पैच क्राइल्स इंसिजन वाई सेप्ड इंसिजन बुक में थे सर कटील मरान में तो भाग व्हाइटवाला स्टील मरान हो सर अभी अर्क इन यो उसको कुमिंग्स को थे छर स्टील मरान को स्टील मरान मैं छेन सर स्टील मरान भाग तीन हो ये व्हाइटवाला जी सब स्टील मरान को सर ये सब उसको कुमिंग्स को सर ये सब कुमिंग्स को स्टील मरान भाग ये नहीं हो इसमें तो छेन सर नेक डिशेसन में छेन नेक डिशेसन को चैप्टर में सर यो स्टील मरान हो सर स्टील मरान छोड़ जेनेरिक स्टेप्स फर अल नेक डिसेक्शन और आफ्टर पोजिशनिंग एंड ड्रैपिंग द पेसेंट डिजायर इंसिजन इज ड्रन यूजिंग मार्किंग पेन और इंक द इंसिजन सुड प्रोवाइड एडिकुएट एक्सपोजर एंड देर फोर सुइटेबल एसेस टू द कम्प्लीट अपरेटिव फील्ड फोर एरियाज अफ स्पेशल एटेन्सन दैट डिफाइन्स द लिमिटेशन अफ डिसेक्शन एंड एडिकुएट एक्सपोजर अफ दिस फोर एरिया सुड मे कंस्टिट्यूट द डिफ्रेंस बिट्विन फेलियर एंड सक्सेस अफ द सर्जरी The four areas of special uh, attention are lower end of the internal jugular vein, uh, junction of lateral border of clavicle and lower end of uh, trapezius, upper end of internal jugular vein, and uh, submandibular triangle. During surgery, uh, uh, both gross and occult disease should be removed, and if uh, uh, attention is not paid in these four areas, then disease may be missed. <coughs> बिफोर मेकिंग इंसिजन स्लाइड स्क्रैच मार्क कैन बी मेड एट राइट एंगल एक्रोस द इंसिजन और मार्किंग द मैचिंग डट कैन बी मेड और टैटूड एट थ्री और फोर पॉइंट्स विद द टिप अफ द इंट्रामस्कुलर ग्रीन निडल डिप ट्रीन निडल इन अर्डर टू फैसिलेट प्लेसमेंट अफ क्रिटिकल क्रिटिकल सुचर्स द इंसिजन इज मेड विद द ब्लेड नंबर टेन थ्रू द स्किन डाउन टू एंड थ्रू द फाइबर्स अफ द प्लेटिस मसल During incision, assistant apply adequate traction and counter traction to the skin, and the skin flaps are elevated using the platysmal muscle as the identification of correct dissection of the plane. Keeping the platysmal muscle into the elevated skin flap ensures appropriate blood supply to the skin flap and also increases the strength of wound in the post-operative period. But in certain situation, when uh, there is the involvement of uh, platysmal muscle due to the tumor invasion. Then in those cases, along with the platysma, uh, the overlying skin should be resected. In the cranio-posterior part of the neck, fibers of the sternocleidal muscles are inserted directly into the skin, and the appropriate plane of dissection is less easily found. Uh, raising the skin flap, the assistant placed a, placed a double skin hook or a rack re retractor under the platysma and applied upward traction. Also, the counter traction should be applied to the specimen. Dissection along the subplatysmal plane will result in less bleeding. 
when the upper skin flap is uh, raised care should be uh, care should be done to preserve the marginal band, uh, marginal branch of facial nerve and if possible cervical branch of facial nerve should also be preserved the both branches emerge from the lower pole of the parotid gland and curves around the angle of mandible crosses the facial vessel and then run parallel and approximately at a finger breadth to the body of the mandible and at the level of the submandibular gland the marginal mandibular branch is found immediately superior and the cervical branch is lateral to the gland next uh, after that the branches both curve upward and crosses the mandible once the skin uh, flap is raised and adequate exposure is obtained uh, then uh, above mentioned four corners should be looked for and the flap if desired can be sutured to the drafts the flap should uh, be preferably protected with a moist gauze or sponge to keep them in good condition uh, radical <laughs> neck dissection the surgical field has the for radical neck dissection the surgical field has the following boundary superiorly this should be the inferior border of the mandible anteriorly the contralateral anterior belly of the digastric hyoid bone and the sternohyoid muscle inferiorly up to the clavicle and posteriorly the anterior border of trapezius muscle in radical neck dissection we remove level 1 2 4 4 and fiber fatty tissue and along with that non lymphatic structures like sternocleidomastoid muscle internal jugular vein spinal accessory nerve submandibular gland and tail of parotid is also removed Uh, the indication of uh, radical neck dissection are significant operable neck disease and 2a 2b and uh, 3 with uh, tumor bulk near to or directly involving the spinal accessory nerve and or internal jugular vein extensive recurrent disease after previous uh, selective surgery or radiotherapy clinical signs of gross extramural disease the contraindication for radical neck dissection are unresectable primary tumor or unresectable neck disease that is encasement of internal carotid artery brachial plexus prevertebral fascia patient unfit for major surgery distant metastasis simultaneous bilateral neck dissection in which uh, one jugular internal jugular vein should be preserved uh, uh, फर्स्ट एरिया अफ स्पेशल एटेन्शन इज लोअर इंड अफ इंटरनल जुगुलर भेन द डिसेक्शन इज डन एलॉंग द अपर बोर्डर अफ क्लाइविकल फ्रम ट्रैपिजेस टू द सुपरा एक्सटर्नल नर्स डिवाइड द डिवाइड सुपरा क्लाइविकुलर नर्व एंड भेसल सज एस एक्सटर्नल जुगुलर भेन डिवाइड स्टेनोक्लाइड मस्टर्ड मसल एब द क्लाइविकल आफ्टर दैट आफ्टर डिवाइडिंग द स्टेनोक्लाइड मस्टर्ड वी कैन सी द कैरेटेड सीट कैरेटेड सीट इज ओपन एंड इंटरनल जुगुलर भेन इज एक्सपोज फर फ्यू सेंटीमीटर and place uh, three ligature suture bigrill uh, zero around the vein the carotid artery and vagus nerve is retracted medially and dissect the internal jugular vein and associated you agi laga ko suture la you you sir uh, sir the lower in the hygienic lower in the lower in the sir सुतपुर को नाम बोलते हैं छाई ना सर बुक में तो और तो हमारा भी तो आवश्यक नहीं सुसर होंगे ये छाई ना आईजी बोला कि ना आईजी करना है रेडिकल ना दे रेडिकल नेक डिसेक्शन और छाई नहीं छाई ना सर dissect internal jugular vein and associated uh, leaf node uh, extend the dissection laterally toward the case next triangle and remove the sclerous node uh, case next triangle it is the triangle which is bounded by sclerous uh, anterior longoscoli muscle and inferiorly by the subclavian vein uh, this triangle consists of sclerous uh, leaf node 
and uh, also the metastasis either from the thyroid or from the primary site below the clavicle which may uh, be breast, lung, stomach or uh, ovary. The thoracic duct is also encountered here in the left side and our uh, network of smaller lymphatic channel on either side can be encountered. So careful dissection should be done in this area. Second area of special attention is uh, junction of clavicle and anterior border of trapezius. Uh, begin the dissection at the lower end of uh, uh, trapezius. Divide the fibro fatty, fatty tissue in uh, supraclavicular region. Ligate or cord the inferior belly of omohyoid and also ligate the transverse uh, cervical vessel. Continue dissection on to overlying level of prevertebral fascia. Identify and preserve the brachial plexus and uh, phrenic nerve. Both brachial plexus and phrenic nerve lies uh, below the prevertebral fascia. So, unless the prevertebral fascia is bridged, both the structures are preserved. Continue dissection to anterior border of the trapezius and proceed upward direction, dissecting posterior triangle. Uh, di now, dissection of posterior triangle. Uh, spinal accessory nerve should be identified before uh, dissecting the posterior triangle as the nerve uh, runs in the roof of the uh, posterior triangle. Uh, some surgeons may find the uh, may find spinal accessory nerve when they elevate the skin flap as uh, it is present in the roof of the posterior triangle. And there are several methods for identifying the spinal uh, accessory nerve based on its anatomical trajectory and uh, surgical landmarks. The spinal accessory nerve innervates the trapezius muscle and it exits from the from its trajectory through the uh, sternocleidomastoid muscle approximately at the junction of uh, upper one third and lower two third and it runs in the caudolateral direction to the anterior border of trapezius and that is the exit point of the knob uh, is from within the sternocleidal mustard muscle can be predicted by the rule of thumb uh, which is uh, it is located about one centimeter above the ops point and ops point is the point uh, where the greater auricular knob wins from the from behind the muscle on its uh, route to supply skin over the parotid and another way is to locate the, the knob at its entry point into the anterior border of trapezius muscle which is few centimeter above the clavicle. Continue dissection to uppermost point of the triangle at the mastoid tip and clear the posterior triangle and uh, dis uh, dissect the post uh, proximal attachment of the sternocleidal mastoid muscle lower lobe of uh, parotid at the level of angle of mandible. Uh, third area of special attention is the upper end of uh, internal jugular vein. Uh, clear the posterior belly of uh, digastric by retracting uh, it superiorly to expose the internal jugular vein and accessory nerve. Accessory nerve runs along with the internal jugular vein from its exit through the uh, jugular foramen and crosses the jugular vein from medially to laterally as the knob enters the sternocleidal mustard muscle at approximately uh, junction of upper uh, one third and middle two third of the lower two third of the muscle and the transverse process of the atlas serves as a anatomical landmark of this point. Uh, clear the vein and mobilize over few centimeter to identify vagus and hypoglossal knob uh, before ligating the internal jugular vein. Uh, vagus knob runs along with the internal uh, and common carotid artery and its position is verified during the dissection. Hypoglossal knob is a useful landmark during dissection and especially if tumor is fixed near or to the carotid bifurcation. Hypoglossal knob runs across the carotid bifurcation, lingual and occipital arteries and forms a convenient tunnel along which dissection can be continued. Occipital artery is usually encountered when the internal jugular vein is cleared as the artery crosses the vein and its open source of bleeding. Uh, divide internal jugular vein after ligating and transfixation with the suture bicral zero. Mobilize the specimen from uh, cranial and caudal direction. Usually, all branches of internal jugular vein arises from its anterior medial surface, and uh, do those all branches should be ligated. Uh, working from uh, caudal to cranial direction, dissection is completed by following the anterior belly of omohyoid muscle which is the anterior border of dissection and uh, uh, to its insertion at the higher bone from which it is divided. The, now the fourth area of special uh, attention is uh, submandibular triangle. It is a submandibular triangle which we can see a 
सब मेन्डिबुलर सेलिब्रेटिक ग्लैंड लिंगियल लग हाइपोकुलेसन लग फेसियल आर्ट्री माइलो आइड मसल डिसेक्शन अफ सब मेन्डिबुलर ट्राइंगल इज यूजली बिगन इन द मिड लाइन बाई डिवाइडिंग द फैटी टिश्यू अन टू द डिसेक्शन प्लेन अफ द एंट्रेबिली अफ कंट्रालैट्रल डाइगेस्टिक मसल द फैटी टिश्यू इन द सब मेन्टल ट्राइंगल बिटवीन एंट्रेबिलीज अफ डाइगेस्टिक इज अल्सो इंक्लूडेड इन द डिसेक्शन स्पेसमेन एंड द डिसेक्शन कंटिन्ूज ओवर द एंट्रेबिली अफ इसलैट्रल डाइगेस्टिक मसल एंड द माइलो आइड मसल विच आर क्लियर फ्रम दियर कवरिंग टिश्यूज द फासिया इंक्लूडिंग सब मेन्डिबुलर ग्लैंड इज डिसेक्टेड फ्रम इट्स एटैचमेंट एक्रस द लोअर बोर्डर अफ मेन्डिबल एंड फ्रम इट्स इंसर्सन डाइरेक्टली बिहाइन द डाइगेस्टिक मसल टू द मेन्डिबुलर एंगल द फेसियल आर्ट्री एंड भेन आर इन्काउंटर एंड लाइगेटेड एज दे क्रस द कर्पस अफ द मेन्डिबल टुवर्ड्स द मैसेडर मसल एंड द इंक्लूड द टिश्यू एराउंड द वाइल डिसेक्टिंग वी सुड इंक्लूड द टिश्यू एराउंड इन क्लोज कंटिन्ट विथ द फेसियल आर्ट्री एंड भेन एज दे मे कंटेन अ स्मल लिफ नोट मेन्डिबल क्रस कर आइडेन्टिफाइ द लिंगुअल एंड हाइपोकुलेसन लग फर विच वी हेव टू रिट्रैक्ट द सबमेंडिबुलर ग्लैंड इन्फ्यूरो लैट्रली एंड माइल वाइड मसल मिडियली लाइक एट द सबमेंडिबुलर गैंगलियन डिवाइड सबमेंडिबुलर डक पोस्टर पोस्टेरियर इन्फेरियर बोर्डर वी कैन आइडेन्टिफाई अ फेसियल आर्ट्री विच कैन बी लाइगेटेड एट सीस पॉइंट अफ ओरिजिन इन एक्सटर्नल कैरेक्टर आर्ट्री और डाइरेक्टली नियर द सबमेंडिबुलर ग्लैंड लाइगेटिंग द फेसियल आर्ट्री डाइरेक्टली नियर द सबमेंडिबुलर ग्लैंड इज प्रिफर्ड एज बिकज इफ वी लाइगेट नियर द सबमेंडिबुलर ग्लैंड देन वी कैन यूज द फेसियल आर्ट्री ड्यूरिंग माइक्रो भास्कुलर एनेस्ट्रोमोसिस Uh, remove the entire species and the complete uh, after that complete hemostasis is maintained one is irrigated with the saline and neck drains are fixed uh, incision is closed in two layers one is for platysma and one is for skin closure uh, modified radical neck dissection the surgical boundary is similar as uh, that of for uh, radical neck dissection and uh, it is defined as the in block removal of lymph node bearing tissue from uh, one side of the neck level 1 to 5 and it preserves stenocleido mustard mus uh, and it is uh, divided into three types based on the preservation of stenocleido muscle stenocleido mustard muscle in uh, internal jugular vein and uh, spinal accessory nerve uh, three types uh, which is given by medina in 1989 Uh, type one is preservation of uh, spinal accessory nerve. Two is preservation of spinal accessory nerve and internal jugular vein. Three is preservation of spinal accessory nerve, internal jugular vein, and sternocleidal muscle. This is also the functional, also called the functional dis uh, neck dissection. Uh, now, indication of uh, modified radical neck dissection are uh, uh, it is a measure to remove uh, to remove the grossly visible lymph node disease that is not directly infiltrating or fixed. to the non lymphatic structures particularly in several uh, if several levels are involved it is difficult to justify the sacrifice of uh, spinal accessory nerve uh, if uh, it is not directly involved uh, with the disease and when uh, hypoglossal nerve and uh, vagus nerve which are also lie in the similar proximity to the nodal disease are spared uh, sparing of uh, spinal accessory nerve careful elevation of flat uh, flat in posterior triangle should be done as the nerve runs superficial uh, and superficial level and therefore close to the plane of the dissection it is safe to look at the spinal accessory nerve in its most cranial part as it enters the neck uh, together with the internal jugular vein from uh, within the uh, jugular foramen identification of spinal accessory nerve uh, different methods are, has been already been explained Uh, sparing of uh, internal jugular vein preservation of internal jugular vein requires careful dissection along the surface of the vein over its uh, complete course through the neck 
uh, stenocleido muscle muscle like directly over the internal jugular vein and muscles fiber are uh, divided uh, after that we can see internal jugular vein and if the stenocleido muscle is to be sacrificed it should be sacrificed just above the clavicle and we can see blueness of the internal jugular vein uh, as the vein lies uh, encompassed within the uh, carotid sheath the carotid sheath is open and the internal jugular vein is exposed upper part of the internal jugular vein is also identified by superior uh, retraction of the posterior belly of digastric muscle <coughs> uh, sparing of sternocleido muscle muscle uh, preservation requires mobilization of uh, deep inserting fascia from the anterior border of sternocleido muscle muscle and dissection of muscle from the fascia below allowing for uh, upward retraction of muscle using loop or uh, retractors the neck dissection is more difficult to perform if uh, sternocleido muscle is preserved the dissection is continued under the sternocleido muscle muscle in the same way as uh, we proceed in, as in uh, radical neck dissection sometimes surgeon uh, if required surgeon may divide the uh, sternocleido muscle uh, sternocleido muscle muscle in its caudal end and uh, after completing the surgery, you can pull the muscle and uh, you can resuture at the end of the procedure. Uh, Selectric uh, neck dissection. It is performed for patients who are at uh, risk for early uh, lymph node metastasis. The procedure consists of in block removal of one or more lymph node group at risk for harboring metastatic uh, cancer uh, and uh, assessment that is based on the location of the primary tumor, thus, the level removed depend on the location of the primary lesion and uh, its known pattern of spread. Uh, there are several types of selective neck dissection. The one is uh, supra wide neck dissection in which level 1, 2, 3 are removed along with the uh, submandibular gland. In extended supra wide neck dissection in which leaf node level uh, 1 to 4 is removed along with the uh, excision of submandibular gland. In lateral neck dissection level uh, 2 to 4 are removed. In posterior lateral neck dissection, in posterior lateral neck dissection, level two to level five lymph node are removed, and in uh, anterior or central uh, compartment dissection, uh, we remove the perithyroid and delphin lymph node. The boundaries of surgical field are uh, defined by the lymph node levels that are dissected, and are thus less uh, extensive than in modified or, or uh, radical neck dissection. Uh, indications for uh, uh, selective neck dissection are it is commonly used for the clinically disease free neck in which lymph node levels are at high risk of containing possible micrometastatic disease and also used in N1 neck disease. But if uh, preoperative positive lymph nodes are found, especially at multiple level, it may be necessary to convert the dissection to a modified radical neck dissection. However, when uh, post-operative radio, uh, radiation is planned for a favorable end to disease, selective neck dissection may still be appropriate in uh, very selected uh, cases. The lymph node levels group uh, dissected are determined by the pattern of metastatic uh, spread for uh, specific tumor location. And uh, based on this pattern of metastatic spread, uh, the following indications for uh, selective neck dissection are uh, selective neck dissection for uh, oral cancer selective neck dissection level 1 to 3 and uh, 1 to 4 selective neck dissection 1 to 3 are done for oral cancer t1 to t4 with clinical n0 in which level 1 to 3 are, are the node groups and level are at risk for contralateral neck in midline lesion of floor of mouth or ventral tongue and other indications are extension of parotid surgery in cases of malignancy or uh, facial skin malignancy in a line anterior to the tragus and selective neck dissection uh, 1 to 4 has done for uh, oral cancer of anterior lateral part of the tongue in which lymph node level uh, 4 is also considered to be at risk. Uh, now selective neck dissection for uh, oropharyngeal, hyperpharyngeal and laryngeal cancer. Selective neck dissection 2 to 4 are indicated in, hyper, in oropharyngeal, hyperpharyngeal and laryngeal tumors in which level 2 to 4 are uh, most at risk. Tumor at this site often cross the midline and thus a bilateral selective neck dissection is uh, often the case if the neck is managed surgically. There is evidence to suggest that the dissection of level 2b 
may be unnecessary for uh, some angio uh, necks and the patient with the laryngeal primaries and contralateral angio necks are ideal, ideal scenarios for preservation of sub level uh, 2b uh, selective neck dissection 2 to uh, 4 and uh, 6 are done in uh, laryngeal cancer with subglottic extension hypopharyngeal cancer and medullary thyroid uh, cancer level 6 is also included in the dissection as well as in uh, some instances level 7 is also included These are my references. Two beer of five hundred fifty kilos. Two beer of five hundred five kilos. On the side of the kidney. Yes, on the kidney body. Yes, two beer of five, ma sir. Ah, two beer or two beer like. I mean, two beer of five brother. Is only B body like. And you don't know what to do. Ah, what to do? Like, this is not sure. This is also not sure. This is God that not that. This God that not that. Two beer of five or two beer of two beer. This man is necessary in. सर जो टंग को केस में इफ अब हम वन टू नेगेटिव भोसम चाहिए तो स्किप रिजन हो